Today, we're going to compare PLA and ABS, two of the most common 3D printing FDM materials available in the industry. Part accuracy. Generally, the tolerances and accuracy of FDM printed components are largely dependent upon the printer in use, the calibration settings, and the model complexity. ABS and PLA can both be used to create dimensionally accurate parts. They can print details down to 0.8 millimeters and minimum features down to 1.2 millimeters. For connecting or interlocking parts, a tolerance of plus or minus 0.5 millimeters is recommended and using a minimum wall thickness of one to two millimeters will ensure adequate strength in wall elements. The main difference would be that PLA can print sharper corners and features when compared to ABS. This is due to the lower printing temperature of PLA, making it less likely to warp during cooling and easier to print. Costs. PLA and ABS are quite similar in price and come in at about $20 per spool. It's easy to compare costs for your parts by uploading a design to the Hubs platform. You'll get an instant free quote and you can compare prices between materials. Printing process. ABS is definitely harder to print than PLA. This is mainly due to the fact that ABS is a lot more sensitive to temperature changes during the printing process. For instance, ABS requires a higher print bed and nozzle temperature, where ABS needs a bed temperature of about 80 to 110 degrees Celsius, PLA needs a bed temperature of about 60 degrees Celsius. PLA actually doesn't require the bed to be heated, but it's definitely recommended. The difference in nozzle temperature is less apparent. ABS is printed with a nozzle temperature of around 210 to 250 degrees Celsius, while the nozzle temperature of a PLA print is around 180 to 230 degrees Celsius. Apart from nozzle and print bed temperature, another difference printing in ABS and PLA is that ABS typically needs an enclosure around the printer. As ABS is very sensitive to temperature changes during the printing process, an enclosure is required to trap the heat and to block the airflow. If the enclosure isn't there, a simple change in temperature or air drafts can make a part crack during the printing process. Besides that, ABS needs to cool more slowly than PLA. If not, it's possible the print can curl or warp. Finally, it's good to mention that both can be printed at a 100 micron layer height. PLA can handle complex features a little bit better as vertical overhang can be done to 68 degrees, while ABS can only do 45 degrees. These values are most common, but with some tweaking, you might be able to push them. Finally, mid-air connections or bridges can also be printed better with PLA. Strength and durability. PLA having a higher tensile strength is considered stronger than ABS. However, it's important to point out a few things. For instance, PLA melts at a lower temperature than ABS. Even though there are upsides to that, this low melting point also causes the material to lose almost all of its stiffness and strength at temperatures above 50 degrees Celsius. PLA is also more brittle and is therefore not really suitable for functional applications. Even though ABS and PLA both aren't considered flexible materials, ABS is more flexible than PLA. With a higher flexural strength and better elongation before breaking, ABS can typically be used in end-use applications. PLA remains popular for rapid prototyping when form is more critical than function. In looking at durability, it's important to consider outside factors. ABS can handle direct sunlight a lot better than PLA can. PLA will degrade when exposed to UV rays over long periods of time. On the other hand, ABS has a tendency to crack when exposed to low temperatures. PLA will not. In the description of this video, you'll find a link to an article comparing the material properties of PLA and ABS, surface finish, and post-processing. The nature of printing with FDM materials means that for both ABS and PLA, the print layers will be visible after printing. Acetone is often used in post-processing to smooth ABS parts and to remove layer lines. This results in a glossy, smooth finish. ABS can be easily sanded and is often machined, for example, drilled, after printing. PLA can be sanded and machined. However, greater care is required. Acrylic paint can be added to both PLA and ABS. If the aesthetics of the part are critical, consider using SLA or material jetting. Heat resistance. For high temperature applications, ABS with its glass transition temperature of 105 degrees Celsius is more suitable than PLA with its glass transition temperature of 60 degrees Celsius. As it approaches 60 degrees Celsius, PLA can quickly lose its structural integrity and can begin to droop 
and deform. Biodegradability. PLA is stable in general atmospheric conditions and will biodegrade in about 50 days in an industrial composter and 48 months in water. ABS is not biodegradable, however, it is recyclable. PLA is regularly used for the production of food-related items, however, Confirmation by the filament manufacturer that it is safe to do so is recommended, especially because bacteria have a tendency to nest between the layers of the print. To sum up this video, here are some rules of thumb when comparing ABS and PLA. ABS and PLA are the most common FDM materials and are similar in cost. ABS has superior mechanical properties but is harder to print with compared to PLA. PLA is more suitable than ABS for prints where aesthetics are more important. Due to its lower printing temperature, it is easier to print with and therefore better suited for parts with fine details. ABS is best suited for applications where strength, ductility, machinability and thermal stability are required. ABS is more prone to warping. I hope this video was helpful for you. If you have any questions, drop them in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.